We're, we're heading to this abandoned place right next to Fox Village. If you have not seen the previous video, go check it out right now. It's a little bit interesting, but pretty debatable. Wow, uh, that looks incredible. Wow. We just made it down the hill. It's a huge open valley. Guys, you will not believe the place we're exploring right now. It may look like a boring hotel, but hear me out guys. This place is a magical gem. You will love it so much. And look beneath us, there's some rapids. And the river just flows past the hotel. And there's a reason why the hotel was built right on this spot. And if you're new here, welcome to the Ronin family. My name is Steve Ronin, and we go on epic adventures every single week. I'm an urban photographer, and I love exploring some band places and taking you guys along with me. Throughout this exploration, we're just gonna go explore it, see what we can find, and take some photos. Okay, before the adventure begins, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. I'm not gonna lie, you would never expect the entrance to be right here, but it is, and it's a little bit sketchy. Kind of have to squeeze our way in, and there's some, there's some rusty nails all around us. Like that one right here, and the floor ain't that good at all. So we gotta go in pretty slowly. Oh, yeah. See, this thing is not gonna hold up any longer. Here it is. This is all there is. I'm just kidding guys. Bear with me before I grab my camera. I actually explored this place and went throughout it and it is one of the best Japanese abandoned places I've ever explored. Let's check the top floor here though. I didn't check this when I came in. Whoa, there's a lot of beetles here. I don't mind beetles. I just don't want any bee nests. And as you can see, these are some of the hotel rooms. Wow, there's a drawer right there. They're all traditional tatami style rooms. Basically before entering this hotel, you would pretty much take off your shoes and only be allowed to wear slippers. This is the very top floor and it gets way more interesting as we keep going down. This hotel is styled differently. You don't go up to the hotel rooms, you go down floors and each level is pretty insane. I'm not sure what this room could have been. It was meant to kept something.
and this is the floor we entered from. That's the front gate over here, but there's no way to open it. You would have to take your shoes off here. Probably place them right there. But I think it doesn't count if the place is abandoned. There's two ways we can head down. Either this one or this one right here. This way is kind of dangerous. Some holes on the wooden floor. Whoa, there's a lot of newspaper here. I wonder what these cabinets would have inside. Oh, nothing. Anyway. Listen closely to this. You can hear the water running. Sounds like a little waterfall. And that's because a little waterfall would actually run through this hotel. There's a name for it, these certain type of hotels. They're called Unzen hotels. Basically, water would come through naturally and they would make the water into a hot spring and people would enjoy it from the bottom floor. So. As we keep moving down, we're going to see a lot of tatami rooms. And even further, we're going to see where the unzins were. Well, it's incredible how they made this hotel right next to a hill with water flowing. Oh, what's over here? Huh. Nothing really interesting. Anyway. It looks very, very dangerous to walk over here. The other steps we saw earlier leading down will take us across over there where Mike is. So we'll take that route. But I just wanted to show you from this angle how it looks. Look at that little waterfall over there. I'm sure it used to be a lot bigger when this hotel was running. There's a stream going down, passes right into the hotel, you can kind of see it over there in the hole. Yeah. Unbelievable guys. Also, uh, my friend Saho, you guys met and we explored together a couple weeks back, did a few explorations that were incredible. You have to check them out as well. Hope you guys have been keeping up with the Japan series. I recommend you watch the playlist right here. He's the one that told me about this place. And yeah, they nickname it the Labyrinth. And I kind of see why. This place is just a crazy labyrinth. As you're heading down exploring it. Oh, very dangerous. This is the first view of one of the onsens. We have one room here. This one had to be a little bit more special. Because there's no other rooms near it. Absolutely incredible. He even has a porch. But look at all the overgrown roots now. They're starting to grow inside this room. I really gotta watch my step though. Everything is caving through. I just want to see if there's anything inside this little closet. No, nothing. There's even an old telephone here. Hopefully we can kind of find a calendar with a date on it. Because I have really no information about the place. That looks crazy. I just love exploring this place and hearing that water run. Huh. I think over here was an unzen room. We were just there. What do you guys think? It's amazing. Amazing. Right? Yeah. You weren't kidding. 
Damn. We first thought that it was nothing, but wow. Yeah. I'm amazed, man. Such a beautiful hotel. Uh huh. Yeah, I can just imagine how it would look like an experience just being here. Must have been incredible. Take a closer look on how the water would be running. Looks like it could have been some sort of storage room. I feel like water used to be running here as well. This is neat. kitchen area I feel like they might have shared some common rooms like the kitchen and the dining room maybe this was even like a little bit of a hostel oh we found the calendar ends in 1995 April 4 oh definitely can't go through here Gosh, I'm not liking how the ceiling looks. Here's the most dodgiest part we have to get through in order to see the cooler stuff. I have to make sure I don't even touch the ceiling whatsoever. Man, I'm loving this place. Hope you guys are enjoying it too right now. It's just unbelievable how it looks. And the photos, man, I'm just touring it for you guys right now. But after this, I can't wait to just take some photos of the rooms. Such good lighting at the moment too. Get a good view from here. Phones everywhere here. Even right there. Yeah, on this floor the rooms are a lot smaller. But still very very beautiful. Do you even see this? A little closet. So down the stairway leads to the onsen rooms. That hallway looks crazy right now. I honestly feel like I'm in a dream. Like I can't believe I'm here witnessing this and exploring a place like this. Just the way to explore is just so different than anything I've ever done. I'll check down there later. So Mike just said there's monkeys and you said they were just on the roof so you actually heard the monkeys yeah there's two of them what were they doing they peeked into the windows at me and then as soon as I tried to take a photo they scampered up the trees and onto the roof 
<laughs> and then when I went out onto the balcony, one of them peeked over the guttering and looked at me. <laughs> They've done it a couple of times, but I think they're gone now. Probably explains why there's a lot of poop in here. Yeah, and why this is torn to shreds. I think the monkeys might have done it. The home of the monkeys. That was cool. This place belongs to the monkeys now. This room was absolutely huge. This must have been like the premium suite, the high class one. Insane. These floors are kind of sketchy, but there's nothing below us, so we're pretty safe here. What floor? This one? Yeah. I'm just trying to well, it might work for you if you're a bit lighter, but it just started. I mean, it looks like there's just dirt on the ground. There we go. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. Fuck! I should have listened to you, Mike. I should have listened to you. <laughs> Actually, no, every time you say what's the worst that could happen, something worse happens right after. Yeah, like you fall <laughs> through a just floor. Just never say yeah. it ever again. We have to step on the wooden beams. I think they're a lot sturdier. Just want to see what's in here. Could be some really cool rooms. And yeah, this is dope. Huh. Mike missed out on this. So it's a mini private bathtub. I feel like this might have been a hotel room. Oh, fuck. Oh, just walk through cobwebs. And there's a lot. Hmm, nothing. Mike said he saw monkeys. You saw monkeys? Damn. I want to see them. They were on the roof. They ran. Over here on the roof? Yeah. No way. Uh-huh. Okay, come on. Wow. The entire side is made of rocks. At least for this level and above us, which I'm pretty happy about. I was kind of scared walking through here the first time, seeing holes on the floor. And we are finally on the bottom floor. This actually leads outside. And look, they left a few things here. They left the engines. I believe that would pump the water, maybe heat it up. Yeah, there's even a giant tube over here. Looks like it would suck the water from the river. And then right here, I believe since all the pumps are going here, this would actually be used to maybe filter out the water, heat it all up for this hotel. So Mike actually snapped, snapshot the monkey. Must have took that in a second, huh? Yeah. Just ran away after that? Yeah, he did. What do we get out of it? A shot of some water at the bottom of a dark hole? Yeah. At the risk of falling down a well and drowning. Yeah, we're not gonna explore this at all. It's too dark too. No way to see through that. And basically, it's just a well. There's just water down there. Nothing else. Safety first, guys. If you're watching my videos, I'm all about safety. Always be careful. It's not worth the risk to do something like that. There's actually a pathway here that doesn't really lead anywhere. Looks absolutely gorgeous though. That's about it. Other than that, there's just these two rooms. They used to be, I guess, hot springs or unzens. They might have been private. 
one for male maybe one for female because there's some different writings right here could be totally wrong but that's what i'm assuming oh yeah anyway i'm gonna head back to the car and take the drone for a little bit of flying so I gotta do it here. This is my Airbnb that I'm staying at in Korea. I'm currently in Busan now, and I've been doing a road trip for the past week. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, this was by far like the most unique hotel I've ever, ever explored. And I would love to hear your thoughts on it, so don't forget to leave your comments down below. I also wanna say something very important. YouTube has recently updated their notification button bell. So you want to double check and make sure it's completely turned on. I've had a ton of messages from you guys telling me like when is this video going to be up when it's already been up for like a week or more. So right now, check the notification button bell and make sure it's completely turned on. You're probably wondering too like when is this Japan series going to end. I have about like maybe five or six more exploration videos to put out and they're all gonna be bangers especially these upcoming ones next because they're gonna be the, like I know I've been saying this a lot but I think the next few videos are gonna be like the highlights of the entire trip they're like one of my best explorations by far oh and I've also been uploading my videos not daily anymore as you can see but I'm uploading three videos a week on Monday Wednesdays and Fridays I do want to make stuff for Saturday and Sunday but maybe I'll do like an, a live stream where I update you guys on what's going on. Or maybe a gear or tech review video. Something like that. So yeah, be on the lookout. There's so much content to come. But yeah, time to wrap this up. Don't forget to subscribe. Most importantly, hit the notification button bell. Leave your comments and thoughts down below and share the video. I'll see you guys in the next venture. Peace.